What's going on YouTube? Team G Sale back with another pickup video. Thanks for tuning in everybody. It has been a amazing couple weeks of garage sailing and I am super excited to be bringing this video to you. First off, I want to apologize. Not like I really need to, but I feel like I've been really slow to put out content lately. Part of that is my job is just winding down for the end of the year. It's really busy. Part of it is that my kids are in sports. I'm coaching. There's just a lot going on. So every kind of weekend, I sort of say, okay, I'm going to film, I'm going to film, and then I never do. So uh, the last video that came out was my 800 subscriber video, or sorry, 700 subscriber video. So uh, thanks to all those who entered, and congratulations to the winner. Uh halfway to the 800 subscriber video so keep uh following the channel sharing the videos and uh I'll, i appreciate all the support uh today this is about two weeks of garage sailings i have done zero thrifting zero pawn shops all of this that you're going to see is from two weekends of garage sailing and i've kind of been lucky and i don't know if it's going to continue but while it's here i'm happy to do so so if you haven't already done so please hit that subscribe button halfway to 800 really get appreciate all the support smash that like button to show some support comment below with anything that you found interesting in your own travels or anything you found interesting in this video and uh, share this with friends and family or anyone who might be interested in retro items or retro gaming or pickups or anything um and otherwise so let's just go quick and jump right into non-video game pickups. All right, there is quite a bit this week and I'm not even sure where I want to begin, but you know what? We'll go with a few things here. Um, went to a gigantic garage sale in Stony Mountain. And I mean, this woman has this one every year and it is like her entire massive acreage full of stuff, but nothing is organized and nothing is priced. So I went through and I picked out a bunch of items and at the end of the day, the prices are really hard to kind of narrow down because like she kind of just wanted a bulk price for everything. Um, so I went there actually two days. I went there the, on the Friday by myself and uh, it was already late in the day and uh, sorry, the Saturday. And I didn't, you know, didn't have a ton of time. She was closing soon, but I, I kind of went through. So I found a new kids on the block book, which she said all her books were a quarter. I figured this is kind of cool, you know, and any kind of like 70s, 80s type stuff is always cool when it's cheap. And I found a demo tape of From Dust to Dawn 2. I don't know if this actually has any value or not. Probably not. It looks like she actually probably got it at the good at the thrift store at some point. But either way, uh, this was a quarter as well. She had tons. And I mean, like, I'm talking probably 500 VHS tapes spread out over the entire property. So I didn't want to look through them all, but I grabbed that. I found both of these at a garage sale here in Stonewall. Uh, they were $2 a piece. First one is a Leonardo plushie. Uh, kind of cool. Uh, it's a teeny beanie baby one there. Um, I'm probably going to end up reselling this. Uh, don't really have much interest in keeping it. And for $2, I got a Mario puppet. <laughs> See if I can get my hand in here. But yeah, this was cool as well. And uh, yeah, kind of surprised. It was late in the day on, on Friday. Kind of surprised no one had grabbed it. But not a lot of people look for video game stuff where I am. So there's a benefit to that. Um, in another garage sale here in Stonewall for a quarter, 25 cents, I got a Vancouver Connects clock. It works. I figure I could at least get five or ten bucks for this. So for a quarter, I had no problem picking it up and I'll put it online and sell it to a Vancouver Connects fan or trade it. <laughs> Whatever one works. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll go over here. Found this uh, Smurfs puzzle um, at a garage sale as well. She wanted a dollar for it. It's a 100-piece Smurf puzzle. I love anything Smurf, so I'll just be adding this to my collection. And, um, yeah, I got to count if it's there. I hope it is. Uh, $5. I think the price is right on there at a garage sale here in town. I got the Minotaurus game. Uh, it is complete. The guy said it was, and I did count the pieces, and it's all there. So that's awesome. $5. Uh, those LEGO board games I tend to resell. I can usually double my price on them. Uh, speaking of LEGO board games, went to another garage sale here. The guy wanted $250 for the LEGO games, so I got Magic Disc. This one I don't own, so I'm going to add to my collection. It's missing one piece. It's one of the wands here, but it's not a big deal. And um, he also had the LEGO Ninjago game for $2.50. I own this already, so I'm going to be reselling this. And it is 100% complete with all the pieces. And he had this board game, and he says... Uh, he wants five dollars for this one uh and it's lord of the rings risk um this is the trilogy edition the trilogy edition so i'm gonna be selling this one um it is missing the ring and he says no no it's 100 percent complete and you know i just thought yeah five dollars is still a good price i could probably still get 15 or 20 for this but the ring really doesn't have a lot of use for the game it's more of just a collector's item uh, but i find whenever you find those board games the ring always always tends to be missing 
Okay, um, that giant garage sale where I got the book and the VHS from had some toys and she was pricing them all at a quarter and I just started grabbing them all. So this is a Marvel character. Uh, don't ask me which one. 1985. Oh, this one isn't Marvel. It is, oh geez, help me out if you know what this character is. I feel like I should know this, but I don't. Um, I got a, a Ninja Turtle. This is a Raphael space one here. It's missing the helmet, but they usually are. I got a, this is a Marvel uh, figure right here. These were all a quarter. Um, very good shape too, actually, overall. Got a Power Rangers, Red Ranger there, missing the gun, which they usually are. Um, I also got a Bucky O'Hare figure. It's got one of the guns. Um, I think Neil wants this one, so I'm just gonna slide it his way. I got a He-Man figure. This is the one that had the cap gun on the back there. I remember actually owning this one as a kid. Um, I got a, um, a Star Trek figure. This is Counselor. Why Why am I her name drawn a blank right now? I know this. Next Generation. Um, Counselor Troy. There you go. Deanna Troy. Uh, and then I got a G.I. Joe figure. Not sure which one this is. I'm not a huge Joe collector. And a couple of random figures. I'm not sure where they're from. One of them's dated 1993. Um, you can help me out if you know who either of these are. But yeah, either way, happy to get that. And at that other garage sale with the Smurfs uh, board game, she had this bin of Lego. And it was just sitting there. And I said, you know, what do you want for that? And she goes, I don't know, like three bucks fair. I said, sure. It's got like some Star Trek stuff in here, or Star Wars stuff in here. It's got what, like, some kind of mech. I mean, it's incomplete, but for $3, random Lego, and there are figures in here, why not? I'll grab it. <clears throat> now found this at a garage sale there it is right there five dollars and it is a Tyco uh fiero challenge oh god i love fieros and these from the 80s i says to the guy look are all the pieces there he goes it's missing one of the cars i said okay he goes and honestly i i don't think it, i'm not sure if it works and i said you know what for five bucks he goes honestly he goes you know what just take it you can have it i said no I'm not, i'll give you something for it. he goes give me a dollar i give him a dollar for it it was Again, closing time, he was just looking to get rid of something. Um, so I looked online and even incomplete, these sell for quite a bit. So yeah, I'm just gonna resell this. And last one here, okay. This was another garage sale. This one was last weekend. I went to my parents' place and they had one garage sale on their street, so I went to it. Turns out he has some games and he has this sitting on the ground. Lego Mindstorm set. And right away I'm going, wow, those are cool. You don't see these all the time. And I said, what do you want on the Lego set? And he goes, I can do five bucks on it. I said, is it all there? He goes, yep, it's all there. <laughs> well, he lied. Uh, because when I got home, first of all, no instructions. And it's missing the actual like controller, <laughs> which is kind of important. <laughs> so um, it looks like the rest of the pieces are there. So it's sort of complete. And I mean, even for $5, they're sort of complete. It's still worth it. It's got the box. I'm sure I can get easily uh, 30, 40 bucks for that online. So it was good buy either way. And otherwise, guys, for non-video game pickups, just want to double check because there was a lot this week. That is it. So now comes the big stuff. Let's just jump right into video game pickups. All right, guys, the video, the uh, garage sale that had the Lego and the Smurfs puzzle, this was this was crazy. There were four garage sales in, in my town here, and every one of them I went to and I said, hey, do you have any video games? And every one of them said, yeah, hang on, and went inside and got some. This was one of the, the last ones I'd went to, and I said, she goes, what are you looking for? I said, I really look for video games. She goes, oh yeah, I got some inside. So she goes in and she comes out with a box of Wii stuff, and it's all games for the most part, and I'm looking it over, and I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, all right, like, I don't know prices, like, I don't know what she's asking on any of this stuff. I saw there were some really good titles in here. There was also a... Um, Pokemon Battle Revolution and some other stuff. And I so she goes, well, how about 25 for all of them? And I said, yeah, that's fine. So I said, you know, I, at this time I was out of cash. She's like, can I send you an e-transfer? She says, sure. I start to send the e-transfer. And as I'm sending it, I notice she takes the Pokemon game and puts it aside. And I said, oh, are you not including that? She goes, well, my son might still want this one. I said, well, then I'll just do 20 then. She said, okay, that's fine. So all this was $20. So first of all, there was a black Wii nunchuck in there. That's kind of cool. I have a lot of these already. So probably end up just trading or selling that. Uh, there was a Wii Fit Plus, yeah, because, you know, I need more of those. And uh, yeah, it's complete in the case. All this stuff is getting traded or resold. I already have the complete Wii collection, so there's no point to it. This was kind of cool in here. She's got a loose copy of Wii Sports Resort. This will get you about 15 to 18 in trade at PNP right now, so that's great. Uh, a Wii Sports, which will get you about 8 or $9 in trade. So already my money back right there in those. And she had a loose disc of Create. 
so why not? All right, she's got a Ben 10 Protector of the Earth. Now again, I'm not going through all these to check everything. She threw out a price. I went with it. Uh, she had a new Super Mario Brothers for the Wii, and then I crack it open. No disc. Something like, ah, oh, of course, already we're starting off. Not the greatest here, but How to Train Your Dragon 2. Now here's the funny thing. It, um, I needed the manual for this, so I added it to my collection. So, because mine did not have the manual, so... Yeah, that was okay. Got a manual of it. Hmm, another new Super Mario Brothers for the Wii. And this one does have the game in it. So, okay, this is going to get traded for sure. Uh, we got an NHL slap shot. Uh, I believe, yes, it is complete in the case. We got a Skylanders uh, Giants right there. Uh, really rough shape, but it's missing the manual, which they always are. I'm not even sure if these games came with manuals. Uh, we got a Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. And it's complete in the case. Uh, we got a Zelda Twilight Princess. So this is all good trade credit here stuff I can get rid of. And it's complete in the case. Uh, we got, and this here is another one, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. No disc. <laughs> so, somewhere she's got a Wii with a disc in it. Uh, Green Lantern. And uh, no manual, but it's got the game. Uh, and lastly, we got two Just Dance games. We got a Just Dance 2. Complete there. And we got a Just Dance 3. And complete there. So there you go. 20 bucks for all that. Not a bad deal overall. Uh, pretty happy with that. All right, these two were at that giant garage sale with all the toys and everything. Uh, she had some computer games, Diablo, uh, is it the Battle Chest, complete in really good shape. Two bucks she wanted on these, so not going to complain. And then for another two dollars, Riven, the sequel to Misk. I miss. I tend to put these on eBay and just 10, 20, 30 bucks and see what I get for them. So either way, there you go. All right, next batch here. So the garage sale with the Minotaurus board game, I said to the guy, do you have any video games? He goes, no. Neighbor, having garage sale too, walk over there. It's the one I got the Vancouver clock from. I said, hey, do you have any video games? Yeah, I got some Wii stuff. Are you interested? So she goes inside. She's talking with her friend and her friend goes, oh, my husband has video game stuff. And I said, I asked him and he said no. So she goes over and comes back. She goes, oh, he doesn't want to sell it right now. Nah, no big deal. Woman comes out with a box with a Wii and a bunch of games. And I said, what do you want for all that? And she goes, 30 bucks. And I look at my wallet. I only had 20 left. I said, would you take 20? She goes, 20 is fine. So for 20 bucks, I got all this. So first of all, I guess I'll leave that off there. We got a Wii Sports, which is actually in the case there. Yes, it is. Manual case. So this is good trade right here. We got a new Super Mario Brothers Wii, so I got two of them now to trade, and a loose case one. This one is complete. Now, funny enough, this one was not in here, but it was in the Wii, so that's good. Uh, we got a Zumba Fitness World Party. Again, this is just stuff. This one was in much better condition than the other one, the other lot that I got. We got another Wii Fit Plus, and she gave me the board, and I told her I didn't want it, but she's like, no, you gotta take it. So down there, I'm not even gonna get it out, but there's a board. <laughs> Lovely. Just Dance 2 again, because you know what? Can't have enough Just Dance games. Um, it's complete, but the manual is upside down. Uh, we got a Donkey Kong Country Returns. Great trade credit on, on games like this. So there you go. Complete in the case. Uh, we got a Game Party 2. These, are, these games here, like this kind of stuff, I'll bundle it with the Wii and, and sell it that way. So there we go. We got a Zumba Fitness, just Zumba Fitness, and it's complete. And last but not least, You Don't Know Jack, which again, I already have it, so this will be kind of stuff I bundle up and sell and trade. Now with it, I got a very, very clean Wii. There it is there, it's got the covers and everything, and it works, I've tested it already. It comes with all the hookups, it comes with, here's a beautiful thing, one nunchuck, three Wiimotes. I'm going to keep one to sell with the console and two to sell separately. You can usually get pretty good money for these. And again, they're all tested and work. So this is a great pickup. And uh, yeah, like I said, sensor bar, 
power cord, AV cables. It was all there, like in very good condition. And uh, you know, why not? She also had uh, the Zumba fitness <laughs> equipment that came with it, uh, as well as uh, a couple of these uh, plastic covers. So yeah, she just basically said, take everything. There was stuff in the box that wasn't even like video game stuff and she starts going through it, but I was it was all junk anyway. So either way, next up. The garage sale with the Mario and Ninja Turtle plushie, same thing, older women, kind of late in the day. Do you have any video game stuff? Yeah, I do. Goes inside. This one I got a very brief video of. I'll show you it here. Uh, comes out with a big Tupperware tub of PS2 stuff. Same deal. She goes, I said, what do you want for it? She goes, oh, I don't know. What's it worth? I, I hate when they do that. And the other woman beside her pulls out her phone and goes, what's a PlayStation worth? <laughs> like the Siri. And I'm thinking like, oh my God, like what, what are they even going to say back to her? Uh, and I said, tell you what, I said, the most that I pay on this is 30 bucks for everything. She goes, deal. Um, you can tell me if it's an overpayment. I don't think it is because PS2 Slim sell for a decent, eh, more than 30 bucks. But. So first of all, it came with all these games. Uh, Medal of Honor Vanguard. Now, some of these I don't own, complete in the case. The ones I don't own, I'm going to add to the collection. The ones I own, I'm going to bundle up and sell with the system. Um, we got Iron Man. Um, the discs are in okay condition. The console does work. I tested it out. Um, Spider-Man. Yeah, nothing here is going to blow your mind in terms of like, wow, that's a really rare game or something like that. Nothing like that. But this is like stuff I can probably resell make some cash on chronicles of narnia the lion the witch and the wardrobe this one's complete so again i'm going to add a few games to my collection and i'm going to resell the rest medal of honor frontline and again the three of these like both those we deals and this one were all on the same day so it was crazy i'm like wow like and none of these were out they just went in call of duty finest hour she said she had a ds lot i gave her my number but i never heard back from her no manual Spider-Man 3, and this one's complete. Uh, we have NBA 2K10, yeah, you gotta have a few sports titles, wouldn't be a lot without them, complete in the case. Funny enough, look, someone bought this at Value Village for $8 years ago. Ben 10, Protector of the Earth, got two copies of this one for the Wii and for the PS2, uh, no manual. Uh, we got Gran Turismo 4. This one feels, yep, no manual. <laughs> Again, look, Value Village, $7.99. Someone was paying 8 bucks for these back in the day. Uh, Nick Tunes Unite. Feels like there's no manual. Yep, there isn't. And the last game, Sonic Unleashed. Also feels very light. Yes, no manual. <laughs> so there you go. Those are the games. It also came with a PS2 Slim in pretty good condition. So, and it works. I've tested it. I'm going to sell this. Uh, in addition, it came with three first party controllers. So that's nice. I'll probably bundle up two with the system. Keep one. Uh, it's got the AV cables. It's got the power cord and it even came with a memory card. So yeah, all that. I figure I could bundle up the system with some games for 70 bucks or so and then uh, add the rest to my collection. So yeah, there you go. Okay, over to this side now. The uh, garage sale that had the Lego Mindstorm set, he also had a big stack of games. He said dollar each game. So for a buck a game, I got My, Sim My Sims Kingdom. This I'm just adding to my DS collection. Complete in the case. And then he had some Wii titles. I figured, you know what, for a dollar a game, you'd probably get maybe two bucks, three bucks in trade, or I can just add them to my Wii lot. Uh, deal or no deal. Complete in the case. Hard to turn down dollar games, even if I already own them. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. He had some other ones, but I left them. I just kind of wanted to make an even five. So there's that. Uh, Wii Play. You can probably get a little more in trade on Wii Play. It's a popular title. Not a lot, but this one's missing the manual. And lastly, Crazy Mini Golf 2. Yeah, there were other titles there, but they were mostly sports and stuff. No manual. So there's that. Okay, we're not done yet, but we're getting close. Now I have to remember where I got some of these from because I'm drawing blanks now. Yeah, these three were at a garage sale in Winnipeg. I did hit up a couple. Uh, dollar games and their sports titles though, but for a dollar, I'll add them to my collection. Madden NFL 12. Don't have this in my 360 collection, so for a dollar, I'll add it. And it is missing the manual. 
I said to the guy, were there other games? He goes, nope, nothing then. Nothing sold. I'm like, oh, at least I didn't miss anything. NBA 2K15. Guy was just a very big fan of sports titles. This one is complete. And last but not least, we got a Madden 2010. Again, dollar games, why not? This one is complete. All right. Let's go to... Yeah, we'll do this pile here. Uh... Should I do this pile here? Yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah, this was all from that one garage sale. Sure, let's do that. So, back to that gigantic garage sale where I got the toys and the computer games. Here's the other stuff I got there. I got a Tiger handheld uh, called Jumble. She wanted a dollar for this. I don't know if it works. Batteries need to be checked out, but it was a dollar. I love this kind of stuff. Uh, okay. Her games here, she has them all priced at a buck. So you can kind of see the stickers there. So for a dollar, I got Brain Age for the DS. Uh, complete in the case. Again, I'm uh, hard for me to turn down dollar games. I got uh, personal cooking trainer, whatever. It's a dollar. Uh, complete. I got Brain Age 2 for a buck. And it's complete. I got... I don't even... This is weird. It's the Welcome to the PlayStation 3 Network Blu-ray. But it was a dollar. So I'm like, whatever. I'll just grab it. And uh, then, again, for a dollar, we got Child of Eden. And this one's complete. And these ones didn't have stickers on them. And I asked what she wanted. She said $2 each. I don't know why, but Bully Scholarship Edition. I thought I had this, but I don't. So I'm just going to add this to my collection. It's complete in the case. And here's the one I really wanted for 2 bucks: the Grand Theft Auto Double Pack. I wanted this for a while for my collection. It's got the two in there, both complete, both in great condition. So really good grass sale. And I'm not done yet. I got more from them. Uh, it's down here on the floor. I'm working my way up there. Both of these got them on... Um, these were both eBay purchases. I believe this one was $4. NX World Tour. Just beefing up my uh, Xbox original collection. Complete in the case. And High Rollers Casino. complete in the case. Okay. Yes. Let's go to this one. This one I have a video for. I'm back at that. Oh, I forgot about this. Huh, so much stuff this week. This was also a dollar at that garage sale with the Mindstorm and the Wii games. You had this in the pile with the games for a dollar. So there you go. Um, okay, so uh, go back to that garage sale on Sunday. My wife's there with me and she's looking around and she goes, did you see that PlayStation case? And I go, what? So I go and there it is. I, I got a video, this is sitting on the ground. I, I don't know if I missed it on the Saturday or if I just, she didn't have it out, but there it is. So I bring this up to her and I said, how much do you want on this? And she goes, what's in there? And I said, well, there's a system with some games, but I have no idea if they work. She goes, I don't know, 15 bucks. I said, how about 10? She goes, okay, it's so 10 bucks I paid for this. Oh boy, I can't even believe this. Now again, don't get your hopes up. It's nothing fantastic. There is a fake Mad Cats controller and there is one standard controller. So we got a controller with it. Uh, we got AV cables, but no power adapter. So that's like I told her, I said, I have no way to test this. Uh, here's the console. It's just a regular PS1 Slim, or PS1, not PS1 Slim, just a regular PS1. Um, and there is a memory card for it as well there. Now in the front pouch, there were some games. Don't get your hopes up, it's nothing fantastic. There is a copy of Need for Speed High Stakes without the manual. There is a copy of Test Drive 6. There is a copy of 007 Racing. And probably the, I did not realize it, but we got The Mummy. Now I did not realize this was a somewhat expensive game. It looked like just a common title. But yeah, and then I got, of course, the PlayStation bag. So this is cool. I'm most likely going to keep the games and then trade or sell everything else in that lot that I don't need. So definitely a cool pickup, though. Okay, we're down to the final three things here, and they're all kind of heavier stuff. These three were all on Marketplace, and she had them there for quite some time. I think I can still put the ad up there. And uh, one of them is a game I've wanted for a while. 
Uh, she said she would do 20 on it, which was reasonable. It's less than half of what it's going for right now, on at least on price charting. And then she did 20 on the other two. So it was $40 for all of these. Um, so for $20, I got Urban Chaos Riot Response. Kind of an uncommon title. You don't see this all the time. It actually looks like kind of a fun game. I might have to try it out. And it's complete in the case. So this one was $20. And then for $15, I got The Suffering. Again, below what it's actually going for and uh, it's complete as well. And for $5, I got a uh, Tron 2.0 killer app. So yeah, some beefed up. She did live quite far, unfortunately, but I had to wait till a, a day that I was somewhere near her neighborhood, but either way, that's that. Okay, this was, holy geez, I'll insert the video here. This was on one of my Instagram reels. Um, go to a garage sale here in Stonewall last week. I believe it was Saturday or Sun. No, it was yeah, I think it was. And um, she put in her ad that there were games. I show up there at 9 o'clock is when she says she's open. I show up there at 8.50. It's already people there. And I'm thinking, jeez. So I go up and I'm looking around and I don't see any video games. And then I see these all bundled together with tape that says $4. So these were less than a dollar a game. And um, so I got a copy of RBI Baseball, which I actually need. I have two and three, but I don't have one. So this, nice, adding to my collection. I got a copy of, wow, Mario Duck Hunt. So I will trade this because I have no need for this. I have it. I got Bubble Bobble. Yeah, this will be a nice little game to trade. I already own it. So I'm actually going to replace mine. Mine has a little gash in the label. So I'm going to replace it and then trade that one. I got a Star Tropics trade because I already have it. And holy geez, Mega Man. Yep, Mega Man 1, 2, one of the more uncommon ones. It's not as rare as 5, but it's up there. It's over a $100 game now and I have it already. So trade, trade, trade. Now I says to her, I said, did you have other games? She goes, oh yeah, just before you got here, I sold an N64 with about 10 games. And I said, what are you asking for that? She goes, 20 bucks. And I go, oh, of course. And, but it's funny, like it must've been someone who just wanted to play. Cause how would you buy that and then not buy the NES games? So again, someone probably just saw it and go, hey, cool. I had that when I was a kid or something and wanted it. It wasn't like a reseller or a collector, I would assume. Last one here, did some trades recently at PNP Games. They've had this for a while. I've been really wanting to add this back to my collection. Um, I brought in a few items in trade, um, a Pokemon Platinum that I had sitting around, which they ended up giving me 68, no, it was more than that. It was like 78 or 88 in trade or something like that. And then just a few other random titles. Uh, I, that, um, what's it called? Um, Time Crisis Raising Storm. They gave me like $30 in trade credit for that, which was pretty awesome. Um, I also traded in that um, Maximo. Uh, I got like $20 in trade. So really, I into this, I only have like 20 bucks or something. Like that. It was, wasn't a lot because I got that Raising Storm game for $7 and I got that Maximo game for $5. And I got the Pokemon Platinum as part of a draw that I want. So really not much into this. But I had finally added Fatal Frame 2 to the collection. PNP had it priced at $124.95. And uh, it's now in my collection. So yes, a heavy hitter off of my list. Obviously, it's complete in the case. And I am really happy because my wanted list is getting very low. Um, otherwise, guys, that is it for this week. But I already have a stack in that room from this week. Um, so, oh boy, this is going to be a busy summer. And next week, there's two more town sales. So otherwise, guys, I'm sorry this video went long. I really appreciate all the support. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't to. And have a great week. We'll talk to you next time. Bye now.